Why is there a difference, brothers and sisters? Bismillah. Mm. Because of what I just did. You see, the sunnah, when you want to eat or drink, is that you say, Bismillah. But you see some Muslims who say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So you should tell them, Ya Akhi, or Ya Ukhtah, Barakallahu fikum, Walakin hadihi laysat al-sunnah, Bil al-sunnah an taqoolu Bismillah. The sunnah is that you say, Bismillah only, don't add ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Now, how do you differentiate between a submitter to the sunnah, a compliant Muslim, and a philosopher? The compliant Muslim will say, Jazakallahu khayran. I did not know that piece of information. If the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what was narrated to us from him, or what he instructed us, was to only say Bismillah, then I'm going to say, Sami'na wa ata'na. We listen and we obey. That's the obedient, complied Muslim. The philosopher, no, a'udhu billah. A'udhu billah that he will submit. He will say, Wallah, akhi, let me ask you a question. Isn't Allah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim? Yeah? So what's the problem with saying Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim? Don't we say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim when we recite the Quran in the beginning of the surah? Yeah. So what's the problem with saying this when I begin eating? And then you can only look at this person with sadness in your eyes and with, with and watery, sad eyes and a broken, devastated heart at the condition that we have become, the condition we have reached and the miserable state that we are in where even the most basic and the most simple of instructions is philosophized and is debated and is argued against and rejected in order for someone to follow their desires because they prefer to follow their desires. My brother and sister, which one are you? That's all I'm going to ask. And you can answer. Which one are you? Are you of the first? If so, congratulations. Wafakakumullah. Wazadakumullah huda. If you're of the second, the first thing I'm going to tell you is be careful who you take your religion from. Be careful who you watch. Be careful who you listen to. Be careful who you mix with. Because the environment in which you're in may play a big role and have a big factor in this, um, in this heedlessness and, and recklessness that you're in. And then you on your own, do not treat the sunnah in this manner. There's nothing more uh, uh, beloved and nothing more pleasing to Allah than a abd. And a abd is an owned property who when his master tells him do, he does. And his, when his master tells him don't do, he doesn't. With not if, but, and negotiations. You try with your children. Let's say you have two kids. Two kids. One, one kid, you say to him, go to bed. And they say, Yes, mommy. Yes, daddy. And they go to sleep. And the other one. But wait. But what time is it? How come? But tomorrow's a weekend. But can I do this? I'm hungry. I want to do this. I want to do that. And they might eventually go to bed. After a five-minute negotiation, political negotiation, draining, a, a painful exchange of words that, you know, will get the parents uh, on, the, on the verge of snapping. Which child do you prefer? And which child is better? And which one is more beloved to you? And which one is, more, is dearer to you? And which one would you want to reward more? The easygoing one, which are almost non-existent today, you read about them in books, you hear about them in stories, but I, I haven't seen many uh, in recent times. I, I'm looking for one. I'm looking for any child who's like that. Unfortunately, because of the world we're living in and the exposure to the sick, sick 
world around us, this has become uh, a quality that is seldom found among children, old and young. But just like you would like that child to be obedient without any resistance, without any rejection, then similarly and more befitting, Allah Azza wa Jal loves the slave who complies without negotiating. That's why the Sahaba, unlike us, when they were given instructions or when they heard something from the Prophet ﷺ, they didn't ask, Oh Messenger of Allah, is this obligatory or is this recommended? If, if he gave them a command, they carried it out. If he gave them a command, they carried it out. Now we investigate. Oh, it's just a recommendation? Ah, I'm not interested. Thank you. You have a good day. Al-Muhim. So when you eat and drink, you say Bismillah without Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Bismillah. And when you write a book, it is recommended that you begin with Bismillah Rahman Rahim, just like Sulaiman. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe and click on the notification bell. Like, comment, and share with friends and family.